Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. Welcome to see why uh, Cypher Semiconductor. Woo hoo hoo! Uh, this is really something here. What did I have down this morning? Nine fifty six. Nine fifty three. Nine uh, this could even get down to the next number I had, 935, 931, 930. This has gotten to the dream numbers today. Uh, this is the stock swish show play of the day here. This got, it just, it's just blood. It's just blood all morning. It's what I call a bleeder. And, you know, it had a very, very interesting bar this morning that I saw. And it, this is a machine-generated bar. A machine-generated bar that happened here at 845 pre-market. Settled down right after the fact, but... Luckily, I watched this. It actually had two beautiful setups this morning. And then one that worked and broke down in the afternoon to get it to this point. I mean, look at this thing. This could actually get to 930 here. This isn't just it's going anywhere now, but down. Uh, this is really something. This could go all the way down here. I mean, it's only 20 cents away. 34. 34 is the next number down in here. And it could very well get there. Talk about momentum. Talk about something losing value. Talk about continuation. This is just an amazing, beautiful, fantastic gap here today. So the entry this morning was aggressive. And it could have done any one of a number of things with this. Uh, as it turns out, I really did aggressively trade it this morning because I did every single ad that it had. Um, you know, this is, was the first play, rallied up again, and I did every ad this had. I took every chance this had for an ad in here, um, and then did lower the stop, and it broke down. And even here, I thought it was going to break 1025, I thought it was going to break, I thought it was going to break, I thought it was going to break. It rallied up here before it broke. What was this number? Yeah, 35. Right in here. Let me go to the five minute. Thirty-five. Yep. And here's where it broke off and went to ten. And after that, it it just it didn't go anywhere. It was like after this thing went and touched down on ten, which was really the next number after it broke ten twenty-five. It never got a lift. And the interesting thing was, I was watching the market at the time. The market was rallying, and as soon as I saw this, the way it acted after it touched down in ten, I said, "This is going to break again." Uh, so late to take a new entry in here, though, to do this. And really, if you did this, though, and put the stop here, you were in this whole thing. Or you could have waited and done it in here in the breakdown play. Again, if you like to trade the afternoon, you, you could still be in this. Typically, I like to be done and out in the morning, but what a beautiful gap. I mean, what a beautiful gap. An hour left to go. I, I think this could get down to 934. Really, this was an all-day play. An all-day play that... You could have done aggressively in the morning and just been in it the entire day, lowering your stop all the way. You can't take something like this and be in it all day and walk around your house and do stuff um, without having a stop in in case it would reverse against you. Here's where it just went disaster. This is actually hugging the 8-period moving average all the way down here in a 15-minute chart. Very unusual. Very rare to see something that just bleeds and breaks down and goes this week, but it's doing it. And where did this all come from? The gap. In fact, this gap rated 22 points this morning. This was the highest rated gap today. It's actually beat Red Hat for the actual rating, even though Red Hat was a beautiful move as well. So no surprise here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. More than a dollar extension now in this. One of the biggest bars in the chart. And this is definitely lower. This will break 934. I don't know if it does it tomorrow. Um, I guess it depends exactly where this closes today. But every single solitary entry in this work today, every ad worked. I did aggressively trade it this morning with every ad that I could take. Um, and that's something that I teach in the entries class because I did actually risk more because where I had the ads, they were right at my initial price. But it was a beautiful, beautiful way to trade it. And it had this nice move, and here it is. This is way beyond... Uh, anything that it could possibly do here into 3 o'clock in the afternoon. This isn't going anywhere but down the rest of the day, just bleeding into the close, and could possibly sell off down to all the way down to 934. Definitely is lower. Beautiful, nice short here. See why? 
And if you're interested in the information on how to find these gaps before they even set up so that you can do these trades, you can learn how to do this from me, how to rate these gaps. I'm doing a class this weekend, September 28th and 29th. It's called the Golden Gap Course. And I teach how to find these gaps and also how to play these gaps like I traded this today. Beautiful CY, beautiful, beautiful, fabulous move. My email is melissa at thestockswish.com. If you'd like more information and would like to sign up for the class this weekend, then email me. Great day, great day, a fantastic day in the Stock Swish show room. Everything worked, and these things even went to the dream target. If you wanted to hold in the afternoon today, you could have done it. Again, the afternoon, I just usually like to be done by the morning, but this pain, paid and paid and paid and paid in here. This is going to go down. It's going to break a new low. It's three cents from it. Look at that, under 9.53, it's going to go to 9.34-ish, 9 9.40-ish or something. Beautiful. No, Nothing's stopping this now. Nobody even wants to get out. This is such disaster. It's just, the, when, when something bleeds like this, it's just selling and selling and selling and selling and selling and selling and selling. Anyways, this is Melissa with thestockswish.com. If you'd like more information, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. And if you'd like to sign up for the Gap course this weekend, then give me a call. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.